Jesus. 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 Say, my time has come. Can we appreciate Jesus again? Say, with Jesus, I can make it. Say, with him, I can make it. With him, I can make it. With him, no weapon, fashion against me shall prosper. Shall Jesus. Lift up your hand as I decree upon you that from today you shall be accepted from the mystery of this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every standing captivity in your life to be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every voices from your village, wherever they are prepared for, speaking against your destiny, after to the encounter, they shall be silent in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever obstacle standing between you and your healing, your testimony, your breakthrough, your success, your promotion, your lifting, your divine aspect, it shall be a protect for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, God will meet you at your point of your need. Say, I believe, Church Jesus. Say, so I am accepted from the mystery of this world. Can we get the, the, no, no, the word of God quickly? Don't sit down. Let's start together. Let's read together. Exodus 12, verse 21 to 23. Exodus 12, verse 21 to 23. Exodus 12, verse 21 to 23. As I read, I will read 21, you read 22, we read the last one together. Are we there? Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take, your, take you a lap according to your families and kill the Passover. Verse 22. And when he seized the, the blood upon the lineage and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the dome and will not suffer the destroyer to come unto you. You are to speak to you. Can we appreciate Jesus again? We can do better. Let's appreciate him. <laughs> Sit down and put the laughter in your mouth. In this seven day special program, the Lord will cause to, to be exempted from every mystery of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. The power behind the victorious living in, on earth here is in the kingdom mystery. Jesus said in John 5, verse 39, Search the scripture, for in them you think ye have eternal life. And they are, and they, and, and they are they which testify of me. So it is the understanding of the scripture that lead you into healing. That lead you into deliverance. That lead you into your testimony, into your breakthrough. You must study the word of God in order to get approval from God for the kingdom revelation. Bible says in Deuteronomy 29, 29 said, the secret thing belongs unto the Lord, our God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever and ever, that we may do all the works of the Lord. So the, so the secret thing belongs to God, but the things that are revealed belong to you for your victory. And that's what I call the mystery. After tonight, a kata, every kingdom mystery that has to do with your healing, your deliverance, your breakthrough, your testimony, shall be revealed to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, 
Bible says there's a certain mystery. Jesus said in Mark 4, verse 11, said, and he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all those things are done in parable. Mysteries are kingdom secret that leads to your victory in life. So the essence of kingdom mystery is to guarantee your breakthrough, to guarantee your deliverance, to guarantee your testimony, your healing. One of the mysteries of the kingdom is divine exception. One key example of the kingdom mystery of divine exception is in Exodus 12, verse 13. He said, And the blood shall be to you, for a token upon the earth where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the blood shall not come upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So, the understanding of how to assess divine exception comes when you understand the mystery of the kingdom, which I just read to you now. Tonight, the understanding is coming up to you in the name of Jesus Christ, exempted from the, for the mystery of the world, by the mystery of the blood. The blood of Jesus is one of the most powerful weapons that God has given to us in life, the blood of Jesus. The blood, of, the blood was what gave the children of Israel the final victory in the land of captivity. It was what exempt the children of Israel from death of the firstborn when the destroyer was assigned against the people of Egypt. When every other thing has failed in their life, the blood cannot fail. I said the blood cannot fail. In those last in, in these last days, whatever afflict attack the body, the bone, the hunger, the blood of any man, it will take the power of the blood of Jesus to destroy them. Yeah. Ebola is a virus. Cancer is another one. Eight times another one. There are many that you don't know yet that the blood can still destroy. Yeah. The only thing that can break it is the power that is in the blood. There is protection in the blood. The blood was the, was the seal of protection that kept the destroyer away from the children of Israel. The blood. Exodus 12, 23 said, For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptian. And when they see the blood upon the lineage, on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over, over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your heart to smit you. Say, I'm exempted. Say, I'm exempted. When crisis occur, when fire is burning, when challenges is arising, you can quench it with the blood of Jesus. I said, the blood of Jesus can quench it. When God decided to bring the people out of the Egypt, the land of, from the land of bondage, he took the blood to break Pharaoh and caused him to release his people at the grave. Every sickness that has hold you down, every affliction that has oppressed you, every disease that has tormented you, whatever will not let you go, they shall release you tonight. Tonight, they will, I said, you shall be free tonight. Shall Jesus. What is the mystery of the blood? One of the finished work of the cross is in the blood. There are five major things that the blood will do for you. One of it is the blood brings salvation. Romans 5 verse 9 said, Much more than being man justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the rot through him. The rot. Ebora. Through the, it's a rot. The first thing that the blood of Jesus will do for you is to save you. As long as a man is not saved, is a target for the enemy. It's a target for sickness. It's a target for affliction. Praise the Lord. Any man who is not saved is a toy 
for the devil. And the devil can destroy him anytime. That's so why you have to bring the spirit. That's so why you have to bring the spirit. That's why no matter the attack of the enemy, don't leave God. No matter the attack of the enemy, don't leave God. Alter to him. Alter to him. And when you alter to him, the destroyer will not come near you. He can only set up a table on those that hold that to him. Say, my time has come. Before you can enjoy the potential of the blood of Jesus, you must be a born again Christian. Colossians 1, verse 32 40 said, Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. So there is a redemption that comes by the blood of Jesus. There is a deliverance that comes by the blood of Jesus. There is healing that comes by the blood of Jesus. There is protection that comes by the blood of Jesus. Before the chain of the enemy can be broken in your life, the blood of Jesus must remove you from the cap of the enemy. Say, my time has come. Tonight, whatever chain the enemy has used to bind you, that chain will be broken by the blood of Jesus. Number two, the blood brings deliverance. So, so Corinthians 4, verse 3 to 4 said, But if our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost. So if the gospel is not seen in your life, you are lost. You don't know God. In whom the God of this world has blasphemed their mind of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. No matter what the challenge is, the blood of Jesus Christ has the power to deliver a man from whatever bondage of sickness and affliction that is pressing you through. To not the cream. No matter the bondage, no matter the chain, no matter that yoke, no matter the affliction, they shall be destroyed today for your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation 12 verse 11 said, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony, and they loved not their life unto death. Number three, the blood, the blood of Job brings healing. It brings healing. Um, Acts 10, verse 38 says, Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about being good and healing all that we are oppressed of the devil. God was with him. So the blood of Jesus is the carrier of power. And he can heal all manner of sickness. Whether you need healing in your body, in your business, in your finance, the blood has the power. To heal you and restore back to you. To not that clear, as you partake of today's Holy Communion, every sickness, every disease, every affliction that has no cure, we encounter the power of God and be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. As you partake of the Holy Communion today, whatever God has not planted in your body, we come out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. The Word of God said in Zechariah 9, verse 11, said, as for thee also, by the blood of the covenant, I have set forth the prisoner out of the pit, wherein is no water. As you partake of the Holy Communion, every pit of sickness, every pit of affliction, every pit of disease that the enemy has prepared for you, you are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. As you partake of this Holy Communion tonight, whatever need, to be flushed out of your body, in your blood, in your organ, in your bone, in your flesh, shall come up by the blood of Jesus. The mystery of the Holy Communion. The power of the Holy Communion table is the table of Jesus. See them? The blood of Jesus is the power that God has given us to frustrate whatever is meant to frustrate you. To frustrate all manner of sickness. To frustrate every work of the enemy. Today, 
they shall be frustrated over your life. It is the blood that sets free from the waterless pit. A waterless pit is a situation when a man lacks access to the things that makes life comfortable. But you have tried your best and things are not working out for you, you may be in the waterless pit. When a challenge that you cannot explain begins to afflict you, you may be in the waterless pit. After today, a cata, they will give unto the blood of Jesus to mount every stubborn sickness, every incredible disease, every strange affliction in your life will give way to the blood of Jesus. As you partake of this Holy Communion, whatever has been resisting your head shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil cannot fight against the blood. He can't. As he can fight against the blood. Sickness cannot prevail in a body that is soaked with the blood of Jesus. Premature death, whatever kind of sickness they call it, hardship, have no power against the blood of Jesus. Bible said in Revelation 12, verse 11, said, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. The blood of Jesus is the weapon that scatters every stronghold of the enemy. Terrible things in righteousness take place when the blood of Jesus Christ is in action. Confession prevails in the camp of the enemy when they see the blood of Jesus. When you take by faith the blood of Jesus, it can flush out. Whatever that is not planted by Jesus, by God, it be flushed out in the name of Jesus Christ. When the blood is taken by faith, whatever that is dead in your life will come back to life. The Bible declares in Leviticus 17, verse 11, says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make what? Atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that make it an atonement for the soul. The Bible says that the life is in the blood. The life of a man is in his blood. The life of God is in the blood of Jesus. So the life of God that kept Jesus alive for three and a half years, it was in the blood. No wonder incurable disease bound to the blood of Jesus. Whatever kept Jesus God alive, when you take today communion, it will keep you alive too. Yeah. Tonight, as you partake of the blood of Jesus, the life of God will destroy yeah. every work of the darkness yeah. in your life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. there is life in the blood of Jesus. It does not matter what is dead in your life. When it comes to in contact with the blood of Jesus, it will come back to life. Say, my time has come. As you partake of the Holy Communion, every disease, every sickness, on this earth, they will bow in the name of Jesus Christ. As you partake of this Holy Communion, I declare, I declare you untouchable, yeah. unmolestable, yeah. no go area, yeah. by the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, my time has come. The Bible says in the Romans 7, verse 15, said, And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and he will put none of the evil disease of Egypt which thou knowest upon them but I will lay them upon all that eat thee see God is a God of fire see anyone that, 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 that has planted evil in your life he said he will lay the evil upon them sit down sit down say my time has come when Jesus died on the cross, he made an exchange. He took your place in death that you might have life. He took your poverty so you can be rich. Whatever Jesus has took for your sake, that you are this struggle for, after today, a cut up, it shall be delivered into your heart. Every time you take the Holy Communion, you surrender sickness. And healing. Every time you take the Holy Communion, you surrender lack and you take abundance. Every time you take Holy Communion, you surrender poverty and take prosperity. Every time you take the Communion, you surrender death and take life. This is a mystery of the Holy Communion. It brings life to every dead issue. So, whatever that is dead in your life, life is coming. 
I said, life is coming. I said, life is coming. I said, life is coming. In the name of Jesus, life is coming. In the name of Jesus Christ, life is coming. When you fail to sustain yourself through the life that is in the blood of Jesus, you are opening doors for the sickness and death. Tonight, as to partake of the Holy Communion today, every spiritual contamination will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. The mystery of the Holy Communion is the mystery of divine protection. As you partake of the Holy Communion, it will flush out every deposit that the enemy has deposited in your body. In the midnight, while you are dreaming, it will flush out in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, my time has come. Help <laughs> yourself for your life. As you partake of the Holy Communion, in your household, and in all that you lay hard to do, receive divine exemption in the name of Jesus Christ. Church, say, I'm in mute. Against every enemy, I'm in mute. Against them, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your heart as you receive. Rise up quickly. Now I want you to know that what sickness, whatever that is going around in the world, your confidence should be in the Lord. Your security should be in the Lord. Your deliverance should be in the Lord. Whatever is happening in this world is not permitted to harass you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is happening in this world will not afflict you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is going around, whatever is happening in this world is not permitted to oppress you. As you partake of the Holy Communion, you are divinely exempted. You are not released from that sickness. You are not released from that disease. You are not released from whatever that is going on. To not a command a divine exemption upon you and your household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you no, no go area. No sickness shall come near you. They will not come near your household. Nothing shall cut your life short. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will fulfill the numbers of your days. And you shall live and declare the words of your God. Tonight, as you partake of the Holy Communion, I decree you are divinely insured against sickness. You are insured against HIV. You are insured against Kassam. You are insured against Ebola. You are insured against sickness unknown. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say with me, my case is different. Because your case is different than the cream tonight. You are divinely accepted from whatever does not bring God's glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. The mystery of divine exemption start as a covenant of God in your life. As long as you are in covenant with God, divine exertion is automatic in your life. Amen. Lift up your heart and decree. In this season, no matter what is happening in this world, you shall enjoy divine exertion in the name of Jesus Christ. After tonight, everything that concerns you shall fall under the exertion. After tonight, your head, your marriage, your finance, your body, your business, your ministry, by the b -b 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 hallelujah, by this communion, as you partake of the only communion, you shall be an exertion in the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy said, concerning Job 1 verse 10, he said, Has thou not made an edge? Right about you, and about your house, and about all that concerns you, that has blessed the work of the earth, and the substance is increased in the land. In this season we are into, I command, give my protection upon you, upon your household, upon all that concerns you. That spirit of Abraham will not see you. He will not see you. He will not see your household. Jesus, I decree 
in age of protection right about you by the reason of this communion in the name of Jesus Christ 